Hey, what's good, family? Todd M. here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, where I talk about things that I'm knowledgeable about, which ain't much outside of all things related to music, tech, and whatnot. Today, I want to talk about the Duet app, which in effect turns your iPad into a secondary touchscreen monitor. Before we get started, please, 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 just take a second to like or subscribe. It's always greatly appreciated. So I came across this article on TheVerge.com where they're talking about how the Duet app gets full hardware acceleration to function as a real external monitor. So the Duet app has been around for a couple of years now. But apparently it's new and improved. But to take advantage of these new enhancements, you will need to have the latest Mac OS installed, which is 10.14.2. So the developers are claiming that the latest update allows Duet to take advantage of the processing power of the GPU that lives inside your MacBook or your MacBook Pro. Uh, this sounds like a pretty good thing to me. And since the app was on sale for $10, which is normally $25, I thought it was a great time to give it a try. So it's always great to have a little bit more screen real estate, but I was specifically interested in how the touchscreen aspect of this app was going to work with the programs that you and I use, like Pro Tools, Logic, Final Cut Pro, and so on. The iPad I'm using is a fifth generation 9.7 inch. It's not the uh, latest greatest iPad Pro with the uh, pin and all that. My MacBook Pro, however, is at the time of this posting, the top of the line i9 processor, 32 gigabyte. So please bear in mind that different equipment may result in different experiences. So in the background, you've been watching me noodle around Logic Pro. And what I have discovered is that when you're dealing with large, chunky buttons, it's way easier to navigate with your fingers, especially with my fat fingers. Um, as soon as the buttons start getting a little bit more fussy and intricate, it's a little bit more difficult to control and to navigate and to figure out the position your finger needs to be in to actually move the slider control button or whatever. Now the thing that surprised and somewhat disappointed me the most about the Duet app is that I could not get the faders and the mixer view to move at all. The mixer view is where I had originally planned to spend most of my time when using Duet. In all fairness, it's probably an issue with logic that's preventing me from getting these faders to move and not an issue with the app itself. Now, I didn't test every single parameter on this page. However, pan, solo, mute, and the transport functions all seem to be working fine with the touch screen. Now, let's switch gears for a second and check out how Duet functions as an external monitor in Final Cut Pro. So in this configuration, I found it to be pretty much unusable, mainly because there's too much lag between the visual and the dialogue. You won't be able to edit in this configuration because timing is super critical. If you had read any online reviews you'll find that most people complain about the lag and this is where it became most apparent to me. Duet seemed to work fairly well in Pro Tools. I was pleasantly surprised on how easy it was to move the faders as opposed to how it was impossible in Logic.
I found it extremely useful to keep whatever metering, visualizer, spectrum analyzer part on the external monitor so it's always available at a sideways glance. As you can see, I'm experiencing a bit of fidgetiness trying to get the plug-in window to open. I found I had to move the mixer window over to the main screen, open the plug-in there, and then somehow it just appeared. Once open, however, the controls were very easy to manipulate. So for $9, I'd say Duet works very well for what it is. I think the next option for you is an app that actually has a piece of hardware that you need to purchase, which runs about $80. So you're going to be spending a significant amount more to get a slightly better performance. But my hunch is that this whole experience would be infinitely better if I had some type of a stylus like the pen that works with the new iPad Pro. I'm feeling that the level of precision will be so much greater. And even though this app has a few limitations, I would still recommend it. And at $10, I think it's a great buy. Hopefully you can catch it, catch the sale price, which is normally, like I said, $25. And once again, Please like or subscribe. If you don't know, now you know. I'm Todd M. Thanks for watching.